Here are the top FMT news bites Tuesday, August 13th. Selangor Menteri Besar Amiruddin Chari says there is always the possibility of a reshuffle in the State Executive Council due to various factors, including illness or death. While he emphasized that Selangor currently has a strong team committed to working together, he admitted there was a need to improve the Exco's performance and services after a year in office, Utusan Malaysia reported. Invest more broadly in sports to help Malaysia achieve its dream of winning a gold medal at the 2028 Olympic Games. This is a call by National Badminton Coaching Director Rexi Mainaki, who also pointed out that it was unfair to pin all the country's medal hopes on the national badminton team. Meanwhile, two-time Olympics bronze medalists Aaron Chia and So Woyik said they are determined to maintain their fitness levels as they set their sights on the Los Angeles Games. Robert Kwok's purported bid to re-enter Malaysia's sugar refining business after a 15-year hiatus may be one of his biggest challenges yet. Wilmar International Limited, Kwok Singapore-based company, is said to be in a two-horse race with Threadstone Capital Sindir and Berhad to acquire a stake in MSM Malaysia Holdings Berhad's wholly owned MSM Sugar Refinery, Sindir and Berhad. It remains unclear why Wilmar is considering acquiring a stake in MSM or MSM Johor as Kwok's PPB Group Berhad had previously sold MSM to FGV Holdings Berhad for 1.22 billion ringgit in 2009 exiting the sugar refining business in Malaysia. Former DAP leader P. Ramasamy has questioned the Prime Minister's perceived silence over the violence against ethnic and religious minorities in Bangladesh. Ramasamy asked if Anwar Ibrahim was prepared to condemn the violence, particularly against Hindus, which he said continued unabated. The by-election for the Makota state seat in Johor will be held on September 28th. Election Commission Chairman Ramlan Harun announced this today, adding that nominations will be held on September 14th and early voting on September 24th. The by-election follows the death of the Avno Assemblyman Sharifa Aziza Said Zain on August 2nd. That's all for now. For more updates, log on to FMT and follow us here.